What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I decided to sit down and actually piece together and think of what I would do if I were to win the lottery. Because you hear of stories of people that win the lottery millions and millions of dollars and then eventually they become bankrupts. I do not want to be that person if I ever were to win a large, large amount of money. So I decided to do this and share it with you guys in a video just because I thought it would be fun to do. So at first, the first thing that I would do would be to purchase a new truck, something that I would consider to be a new daily driver for me. And I would want it between the price range of about $60,000 to $80,000. And I know that sounds expensive, but most new top of the line trucks these days are expensive just like that so if i were to get anything because i own a truck right now i own a 2010 gmc sierra i would honestly want to stick with the truck or possibly a luxury suv range rover something like that maybe bmw i'm not totally sure but definitely trucks are something that are of interest of me i would stick with something that would either be Dodge, Ford, Chevy, something along those lines. I would honestly want it either a dark navy blue metallic or a dark gray metallic, something along those lines, maybe black, but I also, I'm just really into dark colored vehicles, so that's personally something that I would own. So for me, buying a new truck would definitely be one of the first purchases that I were to make if I were to win the lottery. Next would be me moving. I've always, always, always dreamt about moving to California or Hawaii or Florida, someplace warm, because that's just, I always love the tropics, I've always loved the beach weather, I've always loved warm weather to begin with, but honestly, if I were to win millions of dollars, if I were to win the lottery, because as you guys know, I do live in Canada, I honestly think I would want to stay in Canada, maybe I would move a little bit farther away but stay within Canada because as you guys know I live in a small town right now so I definitely want to move away and have a decent sized home something that's for me I would be able to maintain myself or if I had to bite the bullets and had somebody come in to clean it would literally be maybe once or twice a week but definitely I want something that I would be able to manage myself and for cleaning I don't think I'd want uh, sorry, for cooking, I don't think I'd want somebody to come in and cook my meals for me. I absolutely love cooking for myself. I absolutely love being in the kitchen. So for me, I would be doing all of that. I would not have somebody come in and cook for me. Maybe clean the house if I got something a little bit too big. But I definitely want something that I can manage. I would honestly want in the house a large man cave to display all of my collections. I would want a large-ish game room because as you guys know, I love gaming. And I would want a decent sized area to record a different style of videos and maybe have a background and different things that I can do for different kinds of videos that I honestly record. So, and this would also open up the door for different kinds of videos that I'd be able to record because I'd be able to afford to do a lot more. I would honestly go nuts with collecting. I love collecting right now, but if I were to win the lottery, I would go nuts and that's why I'd need a big area to display it. Everything from my hockey collectibles, hockey cards, video games, CDs, and so much more comics, I would honestly go nuts. But above all, if I were to win the lottery, I would definitely want to get a 15 to 20 car garage and start a car collection. I would want also to have a workshop with a huge amount of tools, everything I would ever need. So I was able to build and restore cars. I would definitely want a hoist, something that I would be able to use and maintain and keep up the maintenance for. So I definitely would want that and every tool that I would ever need. I would honestly restore cars, not only for myself to add to my personal collection, because that would be awesome to fully 100% restore a car and have it in your collection because that would be one hell of a story but I would also restore cars to sell and flip for a little bit of profits or just to donate for an auction or something along those lines I think that would be really cool honestly the next thing that I would do if I would win the lottery the first thing I would do the first full calendar year after winning the lottery I would be only traveling and I would honestly want to see 
how many countries I could travel within the first year, but I'm not going to just try to race through it and try to just see how many I can travel to within the first year. I would honestly want to enjoy every place I went. I don't just want to go say hi, say I've been there, took, take a couple pictures and then leave. I definitely want to enjoy myself and spend some time, get the culture, get the amazing views in. And that might just be me. After that, every year I'd make smaller trips or maybe like a two to three week trip at certain locations. But I would definitely not just be traveling all the time. I definitely want to continue doing other things as well, if that makes any sense. Next, for investing, for me, I would make sure my family, my wife and my kids were set for life. That to me would be top priority if I were to win the lottery. If I won 1 million or yet less, I would definitely invest a lot more heavily into stocks and try to get stocks that I would be almost guarantee myself to get profit within five years. I'd be spending a lot in stocks, but it's only on the things that I could assure myself profit within about a five year, five to 10 year period, just so I can help set my family up for money in the future. But if I were to win 10 plus million, I would definitely invest in businesses, small businesses, products that people are trying to invent. Maybe they need a little bit of capital or money to do so. And I would definitely, uh, t if I were to invest that way, I would take a small percentage of their company or their profits or something, but I would definitely invest more heavily into businesses or starting my own business rather than investing into stocks and things like that. And the last thing I'm going to mention for if I were to win the lottery would be about donating money because I have always thought this way whenever it comes to donating if people win the lottery and this is my take on donating. Number one, I know if I were to win the lottery and if anyone wins the lottery, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to ask you for handouts, ask you for money just because you have a lot of money now. They're just going to ask and beg and people that might be your friends. Maybe they're now see so you have money and just trying to use you to get some of your money. Or maybe they just know you or have known you in the past. And now they're trying to come back in your life. People that you might have not have talked to in 5, 10, 15 plus years. All of a sudden, they want to know you now. They want to help. They want some money. They want something out of you. So for me, I would not give them anything. I would only give to family and close friends. Friends, I would literally not want to be around anybody if they were to just come out of the blue and ask for money just because I have money now and the people that I haven't talked to for years. That's the main reason I would want to move farther away than where I am to basically avoid that. I know if I were to go into a new city and people found out I had money, that might be a little bit different, but I definitely would not give handouts to just anybody that were to ask me for money. Now, whenever it comes to donating to charity, Here's my take on it, and I know a lot of people may disagree with me, and that's okay, but this is what I would do if I were to win a large amount of money, and that would be I would not donate money to charity. Instead, if I seen there was a charity that I want to support or a charity that I truly believed in, I would try to purchase equipment or things that they need rather than just donating them, donating them money because I've heard stories in the past and I've thought about this since I was very young of you donating money to a charity and a lot of that money goes to the employees goes to the CEO that makes millions and millions of dollars and instead of that I would rather just instead of a small portion of the money that I donate going to the cause I would rather donate the equipment and purchase the equipment, donate that equipment, because I know that is something they would be able to physically use instead of donating a million dollars and only, let's say, 40% of that actually goes to what they need it for. That's just me. Or if I were to donate for children or something like that, I would donate books, toys, food, physical things that they would need. I would never personally donate cash that's just me a lot of people may disagree with that that's okay i want to know what your guys's opinion is on this but that is honestly my take on donating to charity so i hope i think this is everything i would honestly do if i were to win the lottery of course i'm going to be missing a few things of course there's other things that i honestly never thought of first thing i would do not only with traveling but to manage my money i would honestly have my own accountants 
and I would set up funds and set up different bank accounts that I could try to get the most out of it and try to get the most interest in that and not let my money go to waste. I'm not going to honestly go nuts. I know I said I'll buy a truck, I'd buy a house, I'd buy this and that. But after that, I wouldn't keep spending the money. I'd let it grow. I'd invest in businesses and try to gain capital and gain profit for future generations of mine to come. That's just the way I've always thought about if I were to win the lottery, not just set up myself right now and do what I want to do with life, but also for my kids, for my kids' kids, for generations to come so they have something and so I could do something good with my money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of what I would do if I were to win the lottery. I honestly would like to see what other people would do if they were to win the lottery. So if you're a YouTuber and you want to share that with me, share that with your audience, definitely make a video. I definitely recommend it because it is something to think about because nobody knows what they would do if they were to win the lottery until it comes. So at least if you were to have some kind of idea of what you would do if you were to win the lottery, I think that's the best game plan. So comment down below what you guys would do if you were to win the lottery. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.